Units of two Ukrainian battalions are reportedly encircled near Avdiivka. It's day 881 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from the Avdiivka sector, there is very interesting news coming from this front. In my yesterday's report, I reported that Russians, after taking Lozovatsky and Prorez, started attacking this gap from several directions to try and encircle Ukrainian forces. I further reported that Ukrainian forces have withdrawn from this area, as trusted sources have reported about the capture. However, the whole thing turned out to be a huge mess. Apparently two battalions of one of the Ukrainian brigades, via a Ukrainian source have publicly claimed, they are surrounded by Russians in this area. And their brigade's command instead of ordering withdrawal, is telling them to hold the positions. It is interesting that this is coming from the Ukrainian source. This also suggests that this is a very critical situation. However, none of the trusted Russian sources have reported about this until now. Many have blown this out of proportion and are calling that two Ukrainian battalions are encircled. However, it is possible that instead of two whole battalions, several of their units could be in this situation. There are definitely a couple of Ukrainian strongholds in this area. However, I have so many doubts about this event so I will consider this area a gray zone until further clarification. If the Ukrainian command does not counterattack and rescue the units, this situation will get even worse. Apparently Ukrainian armed forces made the same mistake as the Okritny. The Russian breakthrough occurred when Ukrainian forces rotated their brigades. This suggests that the situation is very much on the edge and critical, as changes in Ukraine rotation can move the front line significantly. Furthermore, at Novoselivka, today there was a confirmation Russian forces were able to push Ukrainian forces from the eastern part of the village. This was indirectly confirmed as a Ukrainian drone was seen shelling the forward position of a Russian assault unit. Now only the northwestern part remains under their control, which as I report has been stormed from two sides. The encirclement news coming from Ukrainian sides is definitely out of ordinary. If I recall correctly, this type of reports have significantly increased since the past month, where they publicly criticized their command orders and intentions. Just yesterday similar news came from the Toritsk front, where they claim Russia has encircled a couple of battalions near New York, which has not been confirmed and is likely false. Some people are claiming there is big dissatisfaction internally on the Ukrainian side and it will get worse as Russia advances further. Furthermore, on this front in the last couple of days, Russian forces have made some important advances. In our last report, we saw how Russian forces were attacking the section of high-rise building from two sides after they decided to create this small bridgehead. As this was one of the very important defense points of Ukrainian forces, all their attention went to this area. So Russian forces launched a surprise attack towards Zelizny, and they were quickly able to take a couple of streets under their control, after which they continued their attack further. In addition, they also started attacking Ukrainian positions around Terikon. As a result, they were able to capture additional areas in Zelizny as they reached the school. While at Terikon, they were able to take full control of this area. This then severely complicated Ukraine's defensive positions in high-rise buildings, as some of their reinforcements were sent to this area. And it seems like this became one of the major reasons, as it was confirmed by trusted sources, Russian forces have taken the section of high-rise buildings under their control. Despite the transfer, additional reinforcements around Zelizny were not able to stop the Russian advance as it was recently reported that Russians have taken this whole area under their control. This has complicated Ukrainian defense on this entire front, as Russians have taken several of the best defensive positions. It is expected that Zelizny Axis and New York Axis will merge in coming weeks. In New York, Russians have been extending and expanding the bridgehead. Recently they took these areas under their control. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.